Hi hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Disney Castle, the new Disney Castle, not the old one. I think it was revealed, was it around about a week ago now? But the reason that I'm talking about this now isn't just about you know, how amazing it looks and so on. It's actually a, a little sneak peek of, of something that might make you want to buy this set just a little bit more. Um, we'll mention it at the end of the video, so keep around to, to watch, but let's jump in to see what we think about this set first so yeah the Disney Castle uh, set number 43222 comes with eight minifigures 4837 pieces and the dimensions of it is huge especially when you compare it to the previous so it says 80 centimeters tall 59 centimeters wide 33 centimeters deep comparatively to the previous Disney Castle which is 74 centimeters high, 48 centimeters wide, and 31 centimeters deep. So, yeah, you can see we've got about an extra about 800 pieces to, to the set. It's not all gone into the height. Obviously, it's the, the taller the castle gets, the, the less pieces that are used. But you can see this, there's a lot more detail within that. Flicking between the two, you can see it's, you can see it's a lot wider at the base as well. So yeah, it comes with eight minifigures. I've got the eight. I am not going to try to guess who they are. I can guess some of them, not all of them. But yeah, so you've got Cinderella, Prince Charming, sorry, Prince Charming, Snow White, Prince Florian, Princess Tiani, Prince Naveen, Rapunzel, and Flynn Rider. So yeah, um, I think yeah, going back to the size of the the actual castle itself. I think if you stood it next to a modular building, it would make the modular building look absolutely tiny. Uh, the the set in itself is, itself is designed to be a standalone. It might give some little hints to maybe what we're going to talk about at the end of the video, but it depends again what you're going to do with it. For me, if I built it, I don't think I'd have anywhere to put it. Maybe this appeals to a little bit smaller, as well as the price range you know, being. $400 um, or £345 if you're in the UK. Um, you know, so not only do you need a, a healthy budget, which I think to be fair is justified with this set. I know Lego has gone up in price and there's a lot of inflation, but this does actually have quite a lot to it. Um, yeah, and when we look at the features of the scenes inside, let's make these a bit bigger. You've got scenes like Cinderella in the grand ballroom. You've got scroll down so you that Rapunzel I think with the, the painting she does in Tangled the movie oh you got I think you've got like, is that Aladdin's genie lamp I'm not sure Aladdin's not in this so I'm not sure it's a genie lamp of some sort it looks like to me anyway you've got you know the rose I'm assuming from Beauty and the Beast Um, I think although you know, they'll see they're not the characters from Beauty and the Beast you've got it looks like the table and then Lumiere what is his name I'm guessing who that's meant to kind of represent. Cinderella and got the shoe. You know, there's lots of bits, and I think it doesn't really matter your age. We all relate to at least one movie from this set, which makes makes it again really appealable to a massive audience in that sense. And going back to whether you can fit it on your desk or afford the thing, that's a different question. But that's not what we're focusing on right now. Um yeah i mean having a look at the actual set in itself i think they've done really well i think it's outstanding in comparison to the older set personally i think with the um i think sand blue bricks at the bottom there going up with the gold contrast and the 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 blue i'm not sure if that's just a standard blue but yeah the nice blue for the roof parts um obviously excluding up here where it's got the gold um, and I think that's a light nougat. I never say it right. You get what I mean. I'm sure it's that color, which is not common if I'm correct. Um, but again, that contrast mixed with the gold everywhere. It just makes the whole thing pop. I think it makes it outstanding. Um, when it, it just, it's a beautiful set. And again, with the, the fireworks coming out the top there, I haven't seen that used before. And that's, a nice simple little feature but actually again it just throws in you look at this and it screams disney <laughs> it screams magic and 
it is supposed to, it's part of the Disney 100 set. So they wanted that wow factor and I think they've got it. So this does bring me to one thing, I kind of touched on a few points. Here's probably going to be a big clue is open back. It's great for kids. It's great if you want to see the inside, I guess, but really it's there for playability factor. Uh, if you're maybe a Lego modular type person or maybe a Lego city type person, maybe you want to fit it into a diorama somehow. Being open back doesn't really work. So there is some good news. So luckily for you, Kim Platter is otherwise known as Brick Artisan. He's already done it. He's quite ingeniously taken the, uh, what you're looking at really, and samples of, of online videos and created a shell or skeleton to figure out the dimensions of what he needs to do to make it, to make the back enclosed. Um, so one thing that's good is Kim actually quite kindly shared some pictures, um, some renders of his design. So you can see, I'm gonna bring them up now. So he's done them in four different colors. So go from the, oh, so I go from the first. I'll scroll through them. Obviously the designs are the same, the colors are different. So depending on what you get, want to get out of your castle, that's up to you. Kim did say one thing that was interesting. He said it'd be interesting to see who chooses the darker colors on the back. So you have your good, outstanding, you've got your gold, the like nougat color the, the blue and so on and then you've got your black on the back so it's kind of contrast between good and evil um i'm not sure which one you'll pick um i'm not judging either way but let's go through the, the the work that kim's done so as you can see is actually the a mock-up of the back of the castle just so you can see it so here we go. So hopefully you can kind of get the idea between the, the back there. But so here's the back of, or the, the enclosure, I should say, of what Kim has designed. So it keeps with the same theme as the Disney castle. You've got your kind of um, turrets and these things. I don't remember what they're called. And again, the colors again. So you've got this one here is obviously keeping in with the whole theme of the Disney castle. You got the same coloring, um, the blue, some of the gold. I think these are ingots, and again the railing that's gold up there, and and so on. And again the brickwork is the same, and so on. So if you wanted to just ca carry on the flow, this would be the one that you chose. Yeah, it's another view from there. So then you go. So it's the same, but the um, walls are tan, I believe that. So again the inside, you can see the interior is the same. It just carries on the the model throughout. And you've got your grey, which again, you're kind of going down to that. You know, you've got your light and your dark contrast, as I was saying before. Um, go next, and then you've got black. Um, I'll see, I think just looking at that, it's just, I mean, maybe you could fit in, I don't know, some of the, you've got your, your princesses, your princes. Perhaps you could get some of the, I don't know, like the witch from Snow White, for example maybe so yeah so if you were getting the um lego disney castle the new one on the 4th of july um and you wanted to have an enclosure on the back then it's going to be 100 percent possible and it's not expensive either the bricks for each of these cost the region i think between 80 to 100 dollars um they're all fairly common pieces that are used um yeah i mean adding on <laughs> to be fair, once you've spent $400 already, if you want to make it that kind of one step further and upgrade the set, then I would personally advise it. But again, it's going to be down to what you want to do with the set. Um, you don't have to do it straight away either. So if you want to purchase the instructions for the enclosure, you can jump onto Bellevue Bricks. So that is bellevuebricks.com. Um, there will be a link in the description just so you can get to it easily and you can buy it from Kim's store so it's actually Brick Artisan's um, store um, it's just £4 um, you get the instructions, you get the part lists 
Um, you can buy all the parts in one go or buy them at your leisure and do whatever works for you. But I would strongly recommend that you think about it. Um, but again, you know, the options there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different than what we've done before. Um, and I hope especially that, you know, you enjoyed seeing what Kim has produced. It'll be interesting to see what you think um, about Kim's work. You know, will you get it? Will you not? What do you think? Um, is there anything else that you could maybe ask Kim to design? He may hate me for saying that, but it's there. Um, so that brings us to the end of the video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us. Um, and if you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us grow. And of course, if you want to buy this set, there will be links in the description. Um, we do get a small percent if you buy through the links. It's not a lot, but it really helps us keep um, expanding the channel, keeps growing Bellevue Bricks um, website and keeps bringing you more mocks and good content.